This video will walk you through the steps to remove the two styles of handle sets and cylinder locks offered by Colby. Before you begin, remember to only work on the door in the open and unlocked position, and don't close the door until you've tested the operation. You'll need a few tools to get started. If you have a Toronto, Verona, or Moonshin handle set and lock, the following steps will need to be taken for removal. Begin by fully loosening the set screw on the interior lever. Gently pull off the lever and remove it from the handle shaft. You can now pull the outside lever and attached shaft out of the lock case assembly. If the shaft does not slide out freely, you can tap it with a hammer to remove it. If you're using our Dallas handle set, use the quick fit release tool that was provided with your handle set and insert the tool into the access hole on the interior lever. Insert the tool parallel to the door and while turning the tool, pull the lever gently off the handle shaft. If you've misplaced your quick fit connection tool, a small flathead screwdriver will also work. You can now pull the outside lever and attach shaft out of the lock case assembly. To remove the cylinder lock, remove the cylinder screw located along the edge of the door panel. Use the provided ring tool to disengage and turn the cylinder shaft until the drive tab is aligned with the cylinder. The drive tab must align with the cylinder to remove. Once the tab is aligned, you can remove the lock. If you've misplaced your ring wrench, you can use a paper clip to disengage the cylinder. Finish the process by removing the interior screws from the escutcheon plate and remove the plates on both sides of the door. To reinstall, reverse the order in which you remove the escutcheon plate, cylinder lock, and levers. To learn more about this and other Colby products, please visit our website at colbywindows.com.